Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the highly anticipated apartment tour. I know I've lived here for a few months, but I never gave you guys the full tour. The last video got 10,000 likes, so here it is. My name is Mark Doner. Welcome, if you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button. And drop a like for your boy. It is time to check out my new apartment. Woo! donation before we get into today's apartment tour I wanted to say thank you for bearing with me I I don't even have any excuses as to why I haven't posted I've just been in the gym and living my best life but I'm back so that's all that matters if you want a real explanation you guys can check out the podcast I talk more about you know how I'm feeling on there I'm not gonna do that on the vlog channel I'm just gonna film fun stuff but I wanted to get into before we get into this video let you know go I wanted to let you know why I chose this place I live in Koreatown actually of all places uh, the first two years I lived in LA I lived in Hollywood which is the city and then last year I moved to the valley and then back to Koreatown well I never lived here, but to, back to the city in Koreatown. The reason I moved back to the city is because I wanted the action. I wanted to be around people now that I'm, you know, single and living my best life. I think in the Valley, it was cool to, to live there. It's more of a family-oriented place, but, you know, I'm young. I'm 25. I don't really want to live in a family-oriented place right now. That's why I moved back here. The reason I picked this apartment is because it has floor-to-ceiling windows. I'm really, like, into the natural light and the sunrises. Behind the city every morning, it just shines in, and that brightens my day up. I'm living alone for the very first time. Time. It's been extremely weird and different. I've lived away from home for seven years now, so this is the first time by myself. So I'm learning a lot about myself, and I actually really, really enjoy it. If you guys ever get the chance to live alone, I would recommend doing so. But uh, yeah, thanks for your support. Always the donation. More videos to come, more vlogs. But here's the long awaited apartment tour that I filmed two other times and hated the way I filmed it. But you know what? Here we go. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say, let's start with the bedroom. So yeah, most of the magic happens in the bedroom and you guys might think this apartment is top shelf and that's just because the second shelf is missing here. Uh, funny story about how this broke actually. George, back up for me. By the way, George is filming. Say hey hi. guys. Say hi. Say hi. Hey, hey guys. There it is. Uh, I was actually, this thing, if you look here. Hey, are you really going to talk about this right now? What? You no, no, this, is, this shit's broken. Look at look, look. this shit taped. I have this bed thing taped because I went to pull the bed back and I flew back. Like this. George. What? I just fucking fixed that. I know, but they don't understand. It, the tape was on it. Well, now they see that it is actually broken and you broke it more. Wow, the magic really does as happen I was, <laughs> As I was saying, I went to pull this back to put Hue lights underneath it mm -hmm. and I ripped that off and I flew back into this. Oh my God, so you broke two things at yes! once? Oh man. So I broke this drawer, but I have two nice drawers here. These disposable cameras for memories. George gifted me this TV for my birthday, so we have that Happy there. birthday, buddy. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. I got my tech center right here with my standing mirrors. What's up? Welcome to the donation. Okay. Nightstand. I just got kind of stupid shit in here, like books and a bunch of clutter. Don't worry about that. Okay. Some love letters and past relationships. Oh. Moving over here. Ooh, we got the broken shelf and the really broken shelf. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of just like a door closet of clothes that for the winter that I don't wear right now and then this is my workout clothes. Ew, that's disgusting, Mark. They're clean. Oh, gotcha. I thought you yeah. just throw the dirty ones in there. No, no, no. Those are clean ones because I don't, there's no reason folding them. Anyways. Yeah, you know they say, put your clean stuff on the ground. Yeah, here's my walk-in closet. It's got a lot of shit in it. Wait, wait, wait. Show them how you walk in. Go ahead. Okay. And, and stop that. Go to your one. And action. Wow, that is definitely a walk-in closet. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> not, not much to see here. It's just a closet. No, no, no. There is much to see. Move. I used to sleep in one of these. No. And then I came out of the closet. Oh, that's so a lot of you guys know that he wears Vans and only Vans. Mark owns the best selection of shoes. <laughs> Actually, hold on. I'm going to hand it to Mark. He's taller. <laughs> and we're going up. And he owns the best selection of shoes, but never wears them. Ever. Why? Damn, Daniel. Oh, he's got the new iPhone? Yep. Did you use it yet? Yep. 
We'll talk about that later. <laughs> Am I gonna do the thing? Why don't you show them the bathroom since you ruined my alone? All right, guys. Now you're probably wondering. Uh, well, I should look at the camera. Okay, hey, hey guys. So you guys are probably wondering where does Mark shower? You know, he always goes to the gym. He, he, has, a, he has a nice place. Oh, George. You got it. Hello, chill, bro. It's so nice. It says hello. Anyway, so Mark stands here for the shower. What I like is that it's tall. Yeah. Mark never has to go like this anymore. <laughs> you and, look uh, tiny in that shower, bro. Dude, it's a huge shower. <laughs> You stand in this. Yeah. Mark's tall as shit. What are, how tall are you? 6'3". Six, 6'3". Three. Six, three. That is a big boy shower. Yeah. What I like actually the most about the shower is this little shelf right here. Yeah? There's a nice little, little sitting point for uh, just if you want to rest, you know? You stuck that out way too well, bro. Just gonna put that out there. There's just a lot of... I'm gonna keep you in there real quick. Yeah. Oh, dude. Hey, we should uh, reenact you on a shelf of a... Of a Hold on, I have to say this properly. You should, what is, how the fuck do I say this? You, you gotta do one of those things. You know, like the, the grocery store, you open up the freezer aisle. Yeah. What, how, well, how would I make that a joke? Because you'll be in there. What? I don't know, man. My brain's there, but I just can't get this out. <laughs> what? <laughs> we don't need, the shower, the jokes are done. Okay. Yeah. I know he's gonna use this shit. Hey, we got a bathtub. What? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fun fact is, I have an ongoing joke where I sleep with a girl in Mark's bathtub. It's uh, it can't go this far. And my dirty clothes, anyways. Give me the freaking yeah, camera. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Here's the toilet. I got my speaker right here, which I don't know. There's a plug back here, pretty convenient for when I play music in the shower. There's George. Got Q-tips and stuff. Right yeah. here. And then there's a lot of storage space down here in my, and there's storage space here. Oops, we won't show that drawer. But yeah, that's pretty much the bedroom. Let's move on over to the office. Ride with me if you ride with me. You can slide with me if you feel like. 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick. This is my office, it's the same size as the master bedroom. It's like a double master, this place. But this is where I spend the most time because, obviously, I have my piano and my computer station over here on this desk. And then over here, this is my workstation with this big monitor. And then I got the two studio speakers. And then this empty table was like a workstation with this little mini fridge underneath it. Always stocked to the fullest, you know how it be. Same closet as the master bedroom and then also another walk-in closet, but this one is my camera closet and it's kind of hectic right now. This is all the podcast gear. I'll show you guys how I set that up a little bit later, but yeah, all my camera equipment is in this closet. And then moving on over into the guest bathroom. The reason that this is the guest bathroom is because there's only one sink here. I kind of just store stuff. This box is full of a bunch of vans, got wigs in here and shit. And then it has like a stand in shower, didn't have the walk-in, that's why I picked the other one. This is the big body painting that we made. I have the other two in my room. The reason I put this one tilted everyone always walks in and they're like did you mean to do that yes I did I think I mean everyone always just puts their paintings perfectly straight so I thought it'd be cool to make it a little bit different and slant it so that's the reason why <laughs> Here while I do eating my meals, but thank you, Trisha. You're welcome. Trisha's filming right now. She cooks all my meals in this kitchen, and let me show you guys some close-ups here. Trisha, Trisha, Trisha. Over here we have my Polaroid wall. Everybody that's been in my apartment, I still need to add two more there because my OCD is killing me. Uh, and then we have the bread box right here, but the bread box is actually filled with the goods, baby. We got that's all the. New. Yeah, that's new. Ooh. Got all the goods in here, a bunch of candy for my guests when they come over. Got the candle burning, got the Polaroid over there. I have my coffee maker. I have my coffee in here. Sugar in one of those. I don't know what's in the other. Trisha does all the cooking right here in the oven. Then I have my knife set. I have my tea kettle for my oatmeal. Got this that my mom got me. Right here we have a wine cooler. I don't really drink wine, but it's there for when guests come over. Here we have the fridge. I don't really have that many things in there for me. I do drink coconut water because it hydrates you. These truly are for when the white girls want to get wasted. And then Trisha, um, I'm low on meals. She's actually going to cook today, but these are all my meal preps. They sit in there. And then I obviously have my egg whites for the morning. Eggs up here. My almond milk. I don't use any of these. I think Trisha use, use them to cook. I yeah. use all of those to cook. So these yeah. are what she uses. Cook. I have been drinking beer a little bit more lately because it's like, I don't know, it's nice to have a nice cold beer, but stick into the weekends on that and I'll tell you why in a second when I show you my bar over there and then these are just kind of for when guests come over. This is for when, uh, you know, you have a nice hangover, you want to drink some PLA and restore your electrolytes and I have some cold brew. Oh, this is for when guests come over to more beer. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I like to have after parties, okay? But mainly the only thing I eat are my meals and then in the freezer, 
I have Uncrustables for the guests. I'm a good host. And then also I bought these too, in case guests come over. Aww. Little chicken nuggets from Costco. Because people always come over and they're like, hey, you don't have anything to eat. So I got a bunch of things for them because I only eat my meals. And then moving over to my pantry, a lot of storage space. Again, a lot of the things in here, uh, I don't eat. I do, you know, this is my protein. I have peanut butter, I have my oatmeal. And then I got stuff for the guests, like Snickers and Famous Amos. These are all Trisha's cooking supplies. I got these for you, Trisha. Yay! Oh my god, it's Costco size! Yeah, Cheetos, and then I have cereal down here. Uh, I got some peanut butter pretzels, got some Patron in case things get wild. But yeah, I don't really, I stick to my meal plan. I don't really snack that much. Good job, Mark. And then we'll get to the bar, but I put all the alcohol up here because I think it's less tempting to like have a drink when it's out of sight. So I took it off at the bar over here. I'll show you. I used to have all the alcohol sitting out over here and like walking in, you see that and it's just like, it's just there. It's in your conscious so that's why I put it above the fridge just so I don't drink as much because I'm I've really been on a health kick and I'm trying to stay healthy and just trying to stick to that you know having fun on the weekends get work done during the week weekends have fun and then behind the kitchen moving over here this is like the, the half bath this is where guests can use the restroom I have a toilet I have a sink I have just like nice decorations here and then you know if you have feminine people come over you got, got some tampons you got some toothbrushes if people want to brush your teeth some makeup remover wipes scrunchies Listerine whatever you have have it you got to be a good host up oh, there's some more of those in there you never know who's gonna come over they have actually come in handy several times for several people that have visited especially since we shoot the podcast here which I'm gonna show you guys now this is the living room I have my big screen TV up here I have the nice what is this called entertainment system uh, yeah. Yeah, and then I have these speakers for when guests come over, my sound bar. I have some decorations in here. The entertainment system, I have this nice decorative typewriter. I have some of my old cameras sitting there on display. And then these old film cameras, and then that old VHS camera. I have a nice coffee table. You see, it's got my mom's gifts for me. I got Scrabble here, more of my mom's gifts, coffee table books. Same couch that I've always had in, in my other apartment. George is out there on a phone call. These two chairs are for the podcast. Which we shoot right here, and I'll show you guys right now how we set that up Boom. and there you have it we got three lights set up I still got to put the cameras on because I'm filming with that got the chairs over here got the toolman show up there got George in his seat ready to talk smack ready hey um, you're a bitch yeah Tell them to like and subscribe to the Tuman Show. Like to and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Trisha, Thanks, yeah. Trisha. You're... This is why we don't want you on the podcast. You're Everybody wants you on the podcast. Oh my god. So we have one camera. We'll have two camera. This one will be on George. We'll have three camera on me, and then we'll have four camera facing Trisha. We'll sit right back here. And I have this Rodecaster. This has all the inputs for the microphones, and then all the levels right here, which records all the audio in too. So yeah, just like that. In like 15 minutes, we turn it into podcast studio, and then after we'll break it down, and then it'll be back to the living room. So yeah, that's what it looks like when we shoot the podcast. I'll link the latest episode down in the description. Make sure you guys subscribe to that channel. Uh, me and George have been having a lot of really good talks on there. And a lot of you guys have loved our feedback and advice that we've given you. Again, you don't have to listen to everything that we say. We're just sharing our experiences. Um, we post on there every single Wednesday, the Toolman Show. And even Trisha, you've been on a few episodes. Yeah, I have been. You replaced me last week. I'm still not <laughs> over that. But the hot Cheetos did help. Yeah, I helped you out there. Show them the kitchen. Or not the, well, we showed the kitchen. What? What's this called? This is our dining table. Oh, this is the dining table that we never we use. We have a bench right here. Yeah. And a bench right there. Mark, you have a chair right here. Yeah. Who's supposed to sit here? I don't know. We never... So why is there a table underneath the table? <laughs> <laughs> if you look closely, I have a desk underneath this glass table. Because I've lived in three different places over the last three years, I've had furniture bought for each place I've lived in and I had extra furniture. I really never eat there. Because I live alone, I kind of just like eat here and sit here and like go on my phone. You have made good use of this though. Yeah. this is from one part of the house. This yeah. Is from this is actually an ottoman for the end of the yeah. bed. <laughs> good job. <laughs> yeah. Thing. And then I have my two thank you X paintings up there and I forgot to show you the other painting is over there. Moving outside the best part of the apartment. We have the love sack on the balcony. I have my tree out here and George on a phone call. 
and then this beautiful view of downtown Los Angeles. It never gets old. One of the main reasons I chose this apartment is because of the view. I love looking out every single morning at the sunrise over the city. I think starting your day with like a lot of sunlight coming in uh, results in a lot of happiness. And also the reason I moved back into the city is because I lived in the valley last year and things were just a little slow there. If you're familiar with LA, the valley is kind of like a retirement or like a family building environment. And then the city is obviously more fast paced. You see more people and that kind of stuff inspires me and makes me more creative in my opinion. But like I said, the view, it's just, it's breathtaking. Woo! So now you guys have seen my apartment during the day, but the coolest part about it is the nighttime vibe. And here we have the nighttime vibe, guys. This is my favorite time because it's a freaking Vibe! I mean, whole place is covered in hue lights, as you guys can see. And with a touch of the button, I can change the colors anything I want to. Blue, oh, yellow, green, aqua, red. Even's got the Halloweens. And then the best part of all, guys, going out here to the balcony. Ugh. Got this strip down here to keep the vibe going. The view at nighttime is breathtaking. Oh, we got a big drop there, though, so. We'll stay away from that, but Woo! And then obviously over here in the bedroom, we got ourselves a freaking vibe. The pink lights, I could change them, you know, shift up the mood a little bit if you wanna go red with it. Maybe, you know, you're feeling sad, go blue, but mostly when you're in the bedroom, pink vibes, baby, let's go. Yeah. 